right, we're on the par 3, third hole on the Priestman on the Nepic Golf Day. And first player is just preparing to go. Nice looking starting position here. Nice grip, ball position, stance. Nice turn, nice full turn. Well, there's impact um, from looking pretty textbook in terms of the starting position, uh, even the top of the backswing. Uh, pretty nice. We're a little bit rooted on the back foot, and that means you get a slight shutdown in the weight shift. Um, hips and shoulders get a little square. I would like to see the body opening up a little bit earlier. Still there, uh, you're halfway through, maybe just the signs of some movement in the in the back foot there, which leads to a reduction in the amount of clearance you can generate. There's the full release, eventually it does get there. Sorry, I just lost control of the video there. So it's got lovely classic look to it, nice finishing position, but when we look at what's going on through impact, slightly different. Just as if that back foot is just shut down. So I'd like to see a little bit more reaction, uh, a bit more release with the body, so you can keep those hips opening up, but it looks very, very good. Very good indeed. So well done. So all you've got to do there is just be a little bit more aware of how you're moving through the ball. A lot of good things are going on. That's uh, a good job. Uh, right, nice starting position, um, except you, you look at that ball position there, it looks for the sort of iron you're using, um, looks a little forward and the shaft looks a little back, it would be more traditional to get that sort of look with the shaft with the ball back, particularly when we're heading maybe slightly slightly into the wind here. Let's get you moving. So the first thing we see is quite a bit of lateral shift to the right, hips moving, knee moving to the right. Do you need to do that? I think not. There's impact. Um, Better delivery with the club and the ball here. Um, still like to see more weight shift that way. And the point I would make about your backswing is that if it goes to the right in the backswing, you've got double the work to do if you want to get it more to the left. So, pretty simple solution. Keep it more stable. Keep it simple. Um, the other thing you could look at is maybe ball, f ball back a touch, hands forward a touch at the dress. Um, but you'd be a better judge of what your ball flight is like. Certainly, in when you're into the wind, you certainly expect to see the ball back a little bit and the hands forward. But moving towards um, a more effective shift of weight to the left means that shouldn't really have to shift it so much to the right because you don't have time to do that in the downswing. 
that makes some sense. Right, next player. Nice starting position. Let's get you moving. Quite like everything I see there, although the stance is a little bit wide. And we can probably see the consequence there of the extra width because it really hampers your hip rotation. Um, so you want the reduce the stance, get that left knee moving it almost looks like it moves to the left again that, again that won't help your hip rotation. Allow it to come in slightly maybe in towards the ball so you're able to get better rotation here through the through the width of the hips and if the hips moved a little bit more freely you'd get a little bit more shoulder rotation it would help your rhythm, would help your power Um, there's impact there again it's pretty typical um, a lot of players we've seen today um, there's not sufficient weight shift to the left that left foot looks like slightly airborne still pressure on the right foot so you see there uh, much nicer looking finishing position so you can get through it your hips can move the right way so I'd spend quite a bit of time in that backswing just trying to free those hips up a little bit so we'll start with a narrower stance we'll start with a narrower stance uh, get that left knee coming in so you can pivot more freely through the um, through the core through the middle there and then work on just getting through it a little bit better with a bit more weight transfer and final player of this group so here's what looks like a more traditional approach more orthodox approach with the ball back slightly the shaft forward maybe even weight forward a little bit this is nice, nice grip. very uh, very flexed here I know you need to stay down on these shots but it looks like they're a little overactive what would I do about that I think just try to get the hips and shoulders rotating a little bit better. I mean they are rotating but look at the left how the left heel is off the ground right again so that's usually because there's too much pressure on the ball of the foot there um, Yeah, definitely uh, working on your pivot, working on how you release the body, making it a little bit more efficient. But I like what you're doing, a lot of good things going on there. Um, I'm sure you're a very useful player. Um, I think we could just 
sharpen that up a little bit by making that body movement just a little bit more efficient. But good, hope you guys had a good day.